morning everyone hope you're all doing great welcome to the first session of your strategic business leader paper now before i introduce the subject to you let me very quickly introduce myself as well so i am shilpi jain i qualified my acca back in 2009 at that time uh, i went to the uk to do my acca and have been involved with various corporate trainings since then and i also head the acca division at vg learning destination along with your strategic business leader paper i also teach the financial management paper at the skills level which you've all obviously surpassed now so uh, very quickly that was about myself and just to instill the confidence in you let me tell you some of the past results that we've had so we've had some rank holders for sbl uh, from the previous batches we've had you know we have pass percentage as high as 80% when the global pass rate was only around 52% so yes believe you me you are in safe hands but yes you will be able to pass your exam only if you listen to what i am saying only if you follow the guidance which i am giving to you from day 1 that is today itself so it's very important for you to start with a very positive attitude towards your sbl it's a very difficult paper and at the same time it's the most interesting paper for acca as well so that was about me very quickly i want to know about yourself as well i really hope that this is not the first acca exam that you are giving so if you could just let me know in the chat box if you have given an acc exam previously or this like is this like your first acc exam ever very quickly please send your messages in the chat box so i know like you know what is your experience with acc so far what i need to groom you for am i grooming you just for the paper or am i grooming you for overall acc a account says first paper mukun says first paper what about others okay so jagdish is given sbas that's wonderful akash is given <laughs> afm and sbi that's wonderful harsh has completed the skills level so definitely is uh, you know in place to reach to the professional level for manoj it's the first paper okay attempting for the first time says shakib Meenal has given some exams previously. Wonderful. Okay, so I have got a gist of uh, the class size. So basically, uh, for few of you, you have a little bit of ACC experience on you, so you are in a good place. And for others who have come via the exemption route and are starting off with SBL being their first paper, let me give you a little bit of word of caution to begin with. that a you don't know uh, the rigor of the acc exam this is going to be a first computer based exam ever you don't know uh, you know how the exam pattern or the difficulty level of acc exam really is plus this paper particularly is a, is a different unique and a different and unique paper in itself not only you have to understand the fact that you know this is a special exam so i ideally would have wanted you to come in with a little bit of experience regarding the computer based exams regarding the acc exam standards the rigor of the exam but for those of you who are giving it as their first ever acc exam you are the ones who have to do double the effort not only you just have to understand you know of the technicalities of the sbl exam you also have to understand how the acc exam pattern works how to, you know uh, the time management plays a pivotal role in the acc exams so please i am giving you a word of caution on day one itself is that you have to really really work hard towards grooming yourself not just for the sbl paper but for the skill set that is required to handle the acc exam as well obviously i will i am there i'm going to be grooming you with the, with you know all of that which is going to be required but um, a little bit of previous experience would obviously would have come in handy so please uh, just everybody be on you know be pumped up that you have the next two and a half months to clear this paper it's a doable paper it's a very it's it's extremely interesting paper as well and 
something that you know you have to resonate with from the perspective that okay i am looking at it from an angle of giving my 100% and it to the real world so i i don't you know just uh, like to teach with the with just the book being opened up for in front of you i like to relate business models i like to relate whatever you know concepts we will be studying in the class to real life examples like you know nike mcdonald's pizza art coke these are some of my favorite examples for which i will be linking the scenarios to you and giving you you know that how this particular aspect is practically getting applied by an organization or how is it relevant actually in the real world as well and thus this becomes a, the most interesting paper of acca okay so for those of you obviously because uh, this is like the first time you are appearing for the spl paper let me give you a quick heads up about the recent changes which have happened to the paper as well so as the progressive qualification that acca is they keep on you know making amendments and one of the very recent amendment that they've made from september 23 is that they've started introducing pre seen material for your spl paper which means 2 weeks before the exam you will be given on your my acca account a pre seen material which was going to be relevant to the exam coming up in 2 weeks time so you will be briefed in this pre seen about the industry in which you know you are going to be examined as well as the organization on which the scenario is going to be based so i hope you know that acca sbl exam is an integrated case study which means it's going to revolve around one organization and it's going to be you know that entire case study is going to be broken down into various exhibits followed by tasks all ranging and going back to the same organization so a little bit of pre seen information will be given to you 2 weeks before to get an idea of the environment the economy the industry in which you are operating as well as the organization which is going to be further tested in the exam having said that just with the help of the pre seen you will not be able to guess what subject areas are going to be examined so please don't take it lightly please don't say that okay i am going to be getting pre seen so i will get a heads up of what is going to be examined and i'm going to start working towards that pre seen only and you know start exploring towards that particular industry or organization no that is not going to help pre seen is only going to get give you a background information of setting the context right so previously acc sbl exam was for 4 hours because it was such a like one hour used to go in just reading the case study only so that one hour is now being given to you in advance itself but having said that you still not will not be able to judge what questions are going to be asked what tasks are going to be examined what syllabus are areas are going to be examined so yes you have to really really gear up yourself with respect to um, you know a, a literally you know a, a professional acumen professionalism skepticism analysis skills communication skills all these professional skills that are going to be tested in your sbl exam is something that you have to start working upon from today itself what these are how are they going to be examined what it actually means is something that i will obviously be sharing with you well i know as and when we go through our classes in the next two and a half months really so um before i actually proceed any questions anybody has regarding acca regarding the sbl paper regarding the way the classes are going to be conducted regarding the way um you know probably you would require your books to uh, you know uh, start practicing as well any questions so far guys any questions so the study material that we are going to be using is going to be the acc study hub which is a free resource available to you from acca itself you just need to log on to your my acca account and be able to access the study hub how how you do that is something that i will just show you in a couple of minutes but before that i want to understand any questions if you have will you go through the pre seen material with us uh so kui the pre seen material is for you given to you two weeks before the exam 
for you to do your brainstorming and till then the classes will be over i will be done with the syllabus having said that yes we will meet together you know once the pre scene is out you've all read it you've all analyzed it how we are going to analyze it is again something which i will be guiding you upon and then we will have one class together where we will where we will all brainstorm each other with respect to the pre scene but again just with that session just with that pre scene don't think that acc sbl exam you know you will be able to crack it's a journey it's a process which you are going to start from today itself so just be you know for the next two months just focus on what i am telling you to do in the class the homework which i am giving you to do at home the tips and techniques which i am you know going to be resonating in the class itself and believe you me by the time we will come to the pre scene material you will be in a position to handle the pre scene and do the analysis which i will ask you to do to tackle the pre scene as well and then yes we will be meeting together to discuss it with each other right koi says uh, he is not registered with acca just uh, started the classes will register in the first week till then how to manage for material um is there any particular reason why you have not registered as yet because uh, i will be showing it to you in the class the, the screen will be shared but i see no reason why you know you need to delay your registration part per se just register submit your documents you will get access to your my acc account with which your my study hub material will also be given the access to and then you can start doing your homework you can start doing your revision you can start you know referring to after the class to the session to the topics that we've covered so that will actually come in handy right akash so just register and submit your documents and then you know just kick start it there's no reason for you that you know you should be waiting another month really to start with your registration process any other doubt guys and i'm going to show you what an acc sbl exam looks like i'm going to take you through all the uh, study resources which are available so technically i'm not going to start off with a concept as of now i'm only just going to give you a heads up into what we are getting into for the next two and a half months um okay understood akash no is no worries at all and don't worry i'm sure you will be able to manage i will guide you through don't worry about it okay yes so if you have that that's fair enough the only thing that you really need to do is revise the concept and refer to question practice the key skill for your sbl exam is question practice so conceptually the techniques the topics i will be teaching you in the class however how much time you actually go back and you know reflect upon these topics link it to the real life scenarios go back to your materials go back to your bpp kits or your study up practice questions and practice analyze questions that is going to be the game changer for your sbl right akash so don't worry i'm sure you will be able to handle it and then you've got like lots and lots of you know uh, resources which are freely available still which you can you know refer to till the time your uh, registration process actually gets completed anything else anybody wants to ask because what i'm going to show you is like you know there's a lot of uh, anxiety there's a lot of uh, um you can say you know fear in the students mind when it comes to what is this pre scene how am i going to you know handle it what is going to be the approach to handle it so don't worry i'm going to take you through all of that and by the end of the classes you will all be you know uh, very in a very comfortable position to handle the exam really i have got bpp workbook and practice book will it be okay to refer yes absolutely right shakib so apart from the acca study hub which is obviously available freely to everyone i very strongly recommend you to go ahead and purchase the bpp practice and revision kits because that has a lot of questions which are of exam standard topic wise broken and you know something that you can obviously refer to for question practice 
to reflect upon the topics that we will be covering in the class. So every topic that we do, just pick up the same topic from your workbooks and practice and revision kits and revise. Just more questions you do, more comfortable or, you know, you, the broader understanding of the topic is going to be. Right. So by all means, please go ahead and purchase BPP workbook and your practice uh, kit as well. Practice kit really is very important. Each and every question from the BPP practice kit needs to be done by you before you even think of booking your SBL exam. Right. Okay. So let me very quickly tell you about the pre-scene, the guidance given, uh, you know, by ACC on it. So like I said, yeah, the pre-scene material is going to give you information A, about the industry. So it kind of, you know, sets the context or in which the industry is operating, as well as gives you a heads up in terms of the organization which is going to be tested, what industry it is operating in, board members, is it, you know, what's the economy like? What is the strategy that this particular organization is following? So very broadly, it sets the context for the industry as well as the organization which is going to be tested in the exam. So how do you really handle this? Let me show you a pre-scene actually. Okay, I'm just going to share the link with you as well. We will be going through a lot of links, a lot of resources because SBL is one subject which cannot be taught by the book, which I cannot just you know read and explain the concepts from the book. What I really want to do is show you what the exam and you know what how it literally is something which is uh, you know, applicable to the real life, which is actually applicable to your job, which is actually applicable to the organizations in which we know we are working or we might work in the future. So definitely something which is extremely, extremely relevant, you can say. Okay, so this is your ACC Global website which gives us a lot of heads up, which gives us a lot of information about and resources about our ACCA. Okay, let me just very quickly give you a quick guidance about it. There you are. The SBL pre-scene will be available to download from your exam planner, two weeks ahead of your exam day. The pre-scene contains information about the business activities of the case study organization, which will be used in the exam, and the industry in which it operates. However, it will not signal areas of the syllabus, or tasks that will be included in the exam. You should familiarize yourself with the pre-scene information as much as possible, so that on exam day, you can place more emphasis on demonstrating your strategic thinking and professional skills, rather than on reading exam content. Plan ahead. Taking time to fully review and understand the activities of the fictitious organization, and the industry in which it operates, will support your exam performance. It'll save you time in the exam, and give you the opportunity to familiarize yourself with the terms and activities included. It'll also help you better manage the exhibits, which will continue to be included in the exam. Further research may help you understand terminologies and activities, which appear in the pre-scene. However, there is no requirement to do any further research on the industry, or the organization itself. Remember, the exam is based on a fictitious organization, and the task will relate to this organization specifically. All the relevant information will be contained either in the pre-scene, or the exam itself, 
and not within any further research you may have done separately. You'll receive an email when the SBL pre-scene is available to download from your exam planner, two weeks before your exam date. You'll also be able to access pre-scene guidance, which provides support on how to use the pre-scene. Log into MyACCA and access the exam planner. Then click on the details button. Scroll down to the pre-scene and pre-scene guidance sections. Click on the download links to download the pre-scene and pre-scene guidance. Remember to ensure you've disabled any pop-up blockers on your web browser. Information. Make sure you always download the pre-scene from your not downloaded the pre-scene from your exam planner, you'll be sent regular email reminders. For further support, visit the SBL exam support resources section of our website, which is Okay, so that was okay. Now let me show you a couple interesting videos from it introduce the subject to you as well. So let's quickly have a look at it. leader mirrors the workplace and requires a blend of technical, ethical skills. It tests your ability to find in a simulated workplace and asks you to respond from people in various roles. It won't only be the technical that matters, but how professional your response is. Together core areas from governance, to other leadership areas such as organizational and change management and uses new technology we know that students who have completed this module are significantly more likely to pass s make sure you plan the module into your studies we recommend studying with an approved learning Using study materials from our approved content, you study ACCA will support your learning journey. The examiner's approach article is to start. There are also unique articles to further refine your knowledge and skills and perfect your exam technique. The CBE practice it's the real exam experience and allows you to practice standard questions before marking and reviewing your answers guides and model answers. The task will specify an answer format, a briefing paper, write a report for the board. It's important to note that a task may have more than one example, evaluate and recommend. Using the ACA and your learning partner is the proven route. So good luck with your studies and exam from Okay, so yes, that is something that I exactly look at at this point of time when we are other for our SBL exam. Believe you me, it's the most of ACCA. And if you actually, you know, um, give, you can say, um, you know, uh, you give some real, uh, really is the word I can use. It is something that, you know, you are I'm studying as well. Why? Because it's no 
any sort of rote learning in this paper. What this actually is going to help you life professional as well. So when you will be done with this change within yourself as well, that you know you are literally ready, but to take on the role of a consultant at an organization as well. That is the kind who imbibe in you. So having looked at courses, everything that you know that which was mentioned in this video, we these resources. I will be showing you how to refer to these resources. And yes, there is a lot available in your SBL exams. Really give ourselves a heads up how we are studying for our exam. Students, now this guidance is not from me, but from the as to how to handle the real, but the overall exam as well. As you obviously need to go through the pre-scene very deeply, you have to go through it in, in you know, in, in from the perspective of what does it talk about the in organization but please just don't go beyond what is required just because weeks before the exam doesn't mean that you stop stop your mock exam practice and just only look at the pre scene you continue with your revision you still have to do lots and lots of mock you have to you know, continue with what it is going to be early past your SPL paper. Yes, PCN is going to be there. Some analysis on it, which I am going to tell you, you know, as in material. But yes, you know, a very required post the pre scene as well. Something that we've already looked at. These changes have come in uh, since September 20. Relevant for you now, basically. The exam is now only and not four hours as it was previously. Why? To you, so that actually gives you and saves you a lot of time. The pre scene, there are still going to be more exhibits and tasks. Actual exam. Pre scene is just only like one good heads up, but the real exhibits are still going to come up on the day of the exam. All of these uh, exhibits are going to be followed by relevant. You have to hunt down information to the scenario. Hunt down information. Because you have to understand the you just don't only have to give the examiner the technical exam. What the examiner is looking for is that have you become a professional enough to apply the techniques that you've learned in the class given to you on the day of the exam and then tell the concept is relevant to this XYZ organization. This is, this is the, you know, the recommendations and to resolve the issue at hand. You have to show to answers that yes you're not just exam ready to you know, take on the actual real life job position business leader in the organization as well okay so very quickly base information guys I will show you what so the ACC qualification basically refers to ACC is the exams the 13 exams of ACC that you have to give months experience which you have to gain and the third E is this in professional skills module which is in 20 hour on module that you have to go through from your my acc account so from the acc side 
describe it at any point of time. However, it's very, very strong. Yeah, to complete your ethics and professional skills module before exam. Because that is going to be part of your because it grooms you better for the SPA, which you anyways have to appear for to become an ACCM. Highly, highly recommended plus mandatory from my end of the 20 hours to you know, ethics, ethics and professional skills before you book your SBL exam. This module is available again on your my ACCA account. You just go to your ACCA you know, account and on the left hand side, there'll be a module which says EPSM or Ethics and Professional Skills module. It's a guided program. It's a 20 hour training module that you have to appear for. In, obviously, you know, you can do that in breaks, but yes, you have to do that. Those finish off those 20 hours training before you appear for your SPL exam. Right? Is that okay with everyone? Done reading, guys? Any doubts you have? Uh, will there be my exam for EPSM? Yes. So as you go through the EPSM module, it's going to be broken into small case study scenarios, which is going to help you groom your skills towards becoming an ethical professional, really. So it's not an exam exam, but that within that 20 hours, you are answering questions to be able to move to the next level. Right, Shiki? So there's no separate exam. And also you have to pay towards this EPSM module. I think it was somewhere around 60 pounds if I remember right. But it is something that you have to do to in order to become an ACCA member. So please do this before your SBL exam. Because it, you know, there are facts that actually state that your probability of passing the SBL paper increases if you are done with your EPSM module. So that is why I say that from my perspective, it is, it is mandatory for you to do it before your exam. Also, a very interesting thing here. I don't know why you uh, did not ask that uh, what is this bifurcation between 80 marks for technical content and 20 marks for professional skills? Any idea, guys? Could we purchase latest version of workbook and revision kit? I have older version. Don't worry, Meenal. If you already have the older version, don't spend money on purchasing the new kit. You can very well practice questions from the old kit as well. There are a few new topics which are added in, but for that, you can refer to the study app practice kit, practice questions. Right, Meenal? Okay, so what do you mean by this 80 hours technical content and 20, uh, 20 marks for professional skills? Any idea? Exam obviously is for 100 marks. You need a 50 to pass, but this 100 mark is going to be broken down into 80 marks for technical content that you are writing and 20 marks for the professional skill that is tested in that particular requirement and how well you've answered the question with respect to that professional skill. So there are five professional skills that you are going to inculcate in your writing skills in the answer it's not going to be like a separate paragraph uh, you know written towards these 20 marks it is the way you are presenting your 80 technical skills content answer which is going to also fetch you this additional 20 marks for your professional skills so the way you write your answers the way you present your answers the way you've been able to you know justify that professional skill which is being tested is what is going to get you that additional 20 professional skills marks for your exam as well right again very interesting point written down here is that this this habit that we have especially for those who are giving the first acc exam you know this habit that we generally imbibe in ourselves that let me read let me learn let me do you know that to that rote learning concept and then let me reproduce it in the exam is not going to work in exam if you copy paste the book the bookish content, the bookish model, you will get zero marks. So that is why I say, you know, just uh, uh, rote learning and retaining and, you know, just reproducing the content, the, the bookish content is not going to help you. Application of this model, 
application to the scenario which has been given to you. That is what is going to get you marks to pass in your exams. So all of these skills we are going to learn. I am just only introducing to you know everything to you today. Don't get overwhelmed. Don't get you know intimidated by oh my god this looks like really difficult. It is difficult. But at the same time, it's very, very interesting as well. It's very, very doable as well. If you follow the top tips, which I'm just sharing with you, you will be able to pass the exam, right? So uh, you obviously cannot be leaving any portion of the syllabus because anything and everything in the syllabus can be examined in your SPL paper. So there is no such thing as an important topic, no such thing as an avoidable topic. Everything is important. Everything is examinable. So please, you have to go through the entire syllabus per se. Now, there are many, many resources which are available. I will be showing you all of these resources one by one. How do you tackle these resources? How do you know you make good each of these resources which are available? And then where each of these resources is going to come into is the picture where you know it comes handy to you. All of this we are going to do. And for that, what you have to do is understand every concept per se as well. You need to be able to develop an appropriate and efficient exam technique. And that is going to only happen once you are with me in the next two and a half months. I very strongly encourage you all to please join in live in the session itself. Refer to less, you know, pre-recorded session. Why? Because when you are there with me in the class, class, you can ask me doubts real time. You can ask me to repeat concept real time. If anything, you know, you probably are not, if, if you're not able to understand a particular concept, you are there with me. The beauty of SBL is, and it is best taught when this, this uh, particular class becomes interactive. I am not the one who is only going to be talking in the class. Even though I'm not going to let you unmute yourself, I want this chat box option to be used rigorously in the class. I am going to, you know, uh, throw questions at you. You all have to answer from what you reckon out of this particular question in the chat box. Once I have got everybody's thoughts in the chat box, only then we will start going through the answers together. So I want you to, you know, really scratch your heads from day one itself. It's not going to be something that I am just going to talk and you are going to listen. No, you are the ones who are going to type and talk and everybody is going to talk, listen, understand and we are all going to understand this together, right? This question practice obviously goes without saying and you have to obviously you know, go through and do the appropriate uh, analysis of the pre-scene which is going to be required for you to do and I will show you, tell you what needs to be done as and when we actually come down to the that part of the syllabus. Okay. Quickly give a look at the kind of tasks that are going to be asked. So the, uh, the list of requirements that, you know, in which you can be asked to prepare a spreadsheet analysis, maybe an email, maybe a report, maybe a PPT presentation, maybe make recommendations. All of this is something which is going to be, you know, can come in as a task requirement in your SPL paper. So something which is extremely important for you to understand and do with. Quickly go through this, guys. I'm reading, guys. What each of these tasks look like. We will be doing lots and lots of question practice catering to each, to each of these different types of requirements which can be there and how each of these requirements need to be answered as well. Well, the question itself is going to be broken down into different exhibits and each of these exhibits can also take various forms. It could look like a website page. It could look like a newspaper article. It could look like an extract from a survey. It could look like um, some sort of competition analysis happening or you know, an extract from a board. Minutes of the board meeting maybe or uh, a note from the CEO or the CFO or an analysis of a report. So yes, the, the question itself can be broken down into different types of exhibits 
and every exhibit obviously gives in a different kind of information about the organization as well and how that information is going to be catered to by the organization as well yes i already told you that sbl is un cca paper in itself you know it's it's one of a paper and really you know you have to uh, be you know looking forward to this challenge that you is a challenge in itself unlike any other paper of acca challenge and if you follow the techniques which i'll be telling you if you it requires you to be able to grab the, that concept and apply that is going to take you through this sbl paper so there are going which are going to be tested in your sbl paper each ranging from communication professional uh, professional analysis skill professional skepticism all, all of these different five professional skills mean means five different style of writing your aspects you to be able to portray in that particular every task is going to tell you which professional skill so if a question is asking you about you know and the professional skill is you have to write your answer in a way communication gets highlighted gets portrayed to the style of writing is going to change when maybe you know the professional so yes that is how you are going to show and skills marks in the way you are writing to work technical skills marks now as of now i know you don't know it's only introducing as of now how applied is something that obviously you will be learning you will be grooming yourself self so it's it's a process and every one level up from where you are right but having said that let me just show you what these basically mean like i think instead of showing you this boring slide very interesting video from acc itself about let me quickly show you some of the very interesting videos sbl paper specifically regarding professional skills thereafter first let's have a look at the reader exam is a challenge multiple requirements professional skills mark it's an old video guys that's why it's saying consider that it's 3 hours long with a pre scene coming into the picture it's mean the good exam technique so you can still apply the core that you've used in your other acc using these skills will help you meet the sbl exam you must make your own plan for work and paper that works for you and then test two mock exams to time this you should create an outline time plan How long will you spend reading the requirements and exhibits spend on planning and how long will you have left as an initial guide 1 hour would leave you 3 hours for writing your answer and possible starting point for you you should read and break down the as much detail as possible for example evaluate a potential acquisition how you will do this in your answer 
So using or the SFA model. Build an active read of the exhibits. Making notes or preparing answer plans as you. One key thing to remember is that all the information for a reason and can be used in your analysis. Start constructing your final answer. Before you start answering, read it again to make sure you are answering the specific requirement. Time and you will lose both technical. Allocate your time based on the number of marks available and. Use theories and models to analyze issues and give structure to your answer, but fine in theories. Someone was paying you to write it. They wanted and what they should do. And if the exam seems tough to you, everyone, keep to your plan and you will maximize your chance of success. Now that was a very good tip given by SCCA that feel that the exam is difficult. It is really like, you know, uh, something that you are uh, getting intimidated by. The else around you is also in the same boat. So just don't lose your confidence stick to the basic techniques which i'm going to be teaching believe you me you will be able to you know, this sbl exam in the next three months but target to finish off your sbl exam and if you follow from today itself you will be able to do that Okay, so now what I want you to have a look at another video which professional skills. Now all of these resources here is because these are very by ACC itself in order to prepare and give a very, you know, is it that the ACC examining team actually ex expectations? It obviously becomes easier easier for you to be able to. So let's quickly have a look at these videos from ACCA. <laughs> As you start to find out about the new strategy, you will see that one of its most important features is that 20 of the 100 skills. The exam integrates technical tasks that will require you to apply your knowledge in the context of the case and to demonstrate one of five specific. Let's look at these skills. Communication means expressing yourself. Depending on the requirements, you may have to inform, persuade, or document means having awareness of the wider business and external environment. Appropriate solutions. Analysis means investigating. You will have a wide range of information to analyze in the case exhibits so that you can make the most appropriate recommendations sense terms, being skeptical means not taking information at face value. In the exam, this involves challenging information to establish the real picture of what's going on. And finally, evaluate information given to you to make the best decisions. It can include estimating future trends and appraising these in a balanced way before making a recommendation. 
demonstrate general professionalism, including making the most important points, not repeating points, and addressing you start studying for SBL, you must practice the skills alongside the technical aspect from an approved learning partner whose tutors will be integrating skills development into their feedback on your answers is vital so that you can build up confidence in your ability to apply the skills. Schemes in the specimen exams show how the skills are assessed. You will see that each skill is described in task to start developing your professional skills work through the ethics and professional skills module in any of the strategic professional exams especially find other great resources to support you with professional skills in the SBL section of today Okay, so now let's understand what professional skills actually mean and what is it that ACCA is looking for skills. possess a range of professional skills and you must exam. These skills include commercial basically means you should make commercially sound decisions in issues and exploiting opportunities. This you must show awareness of the external and organization operates. Commercial acumen you should demonstrate a combination of awareness, effective judgment, be asked to make recommendations to an audit that could be implemented to reduce fraud level. To demonstrate you must give a variety of recommendations in different ways. Then, recommendations themselves, consider these to manage the risk that customers travel without paying. Firstly, the rail company could areas at all major stations the company could recruit a large number that will check every passenger's ticket. Which recommendation shows the best commercial action? Well, the ongoing staffing cost and disruption caused by manual checking of ticket. This is probably not a practical long-term solution. Installation of ticket barriers is the best. Finally, for this example, your professional skills mark. Recommendations demonstrating insight. So, when recommending installation, you could suggest that this would be subject to this, which would include the time barriers compared to manual ticket checking. Demonstrating commercial acumen is something that you have detailed requirements and will not be a separate To maximize your commercial consider the following three points. You will be affected by the issue in the question. Focus on relevant areas only. unprofessional. Finally, make sure any recommendations are people as well as numbers. It's people that achieve the numbers.
effective evaluation is a required skill both in the real world and in your exam. It can be created across three areas by assessing and hearing issues or problems facing the organisation in the exam scenario. Trends and making reasoned forecasts of the implications of potential organisation. Appraising facts with a view to balancing the costs, risks, benefits before recommending solutions or decisions. In your exam, you may be asked by the Board of Architects, which evaluates a potential significant investment in a new You should start by assessing the current situation and the potential. For example, is there evidence of problems maybe reducing the quality of service provided to customers? It should lead on to discussing the resulting benefits of a new a better experience for customers, leading on to wherever possible, you should the actual impact on areas such as revenue. In order to present a balanced argument, there are downsides to the investment. This may be with financing the venture, so you could appraise the of finance relative to the current state. Finally, your business to the board on whether to proceed with the investment or not. Remember, you will score marks for a as long as it's supported by your arguments. The best way is to give your overall answer a strong skill of evaluation are to create a balanced argument and disadvantages or benefits and risks to make sure you cover both sides of the issue. Just using information or ideas from one area isn't enough. Consider finding relevant requirements. Conclude or recommend. As we saw in our example, and the audience want to know whether they should go ahead. Tell them your in the key advantage or disadvantage, or benefit or risk. in full they are guidance coming in directly from a these professional skills and thus these are extremely important why i'm showing it to you in the class itself on the first day to give you a heads is into the you know the expectations of the examiner from this particular look at each one of these please As in, during your exam, you'll face a substantial amount in various forms. Can you think that the information is correct, truth? You can't. That's why you need to be skeptical. Skepticism is crucial in the world of accountancy. Key professional skills on which you'll be tested. To demonstrate effective skepticism, you should show a questioning and challenging. Um, you may be required to review information given by a finance director at a month. Don't simply accept everything said. Is there evidence that supports 
with the views of the finance director. Meeting minutes claimed that the audited annual account increased profit of 52% to 120% cost control initiative led by the finance director be the most appropriate of these to challenge? Well, have been reviewed by an independent third party. It's sound evidence of the validity of the Therefore, it would be the reason given by the director for the profit growth that would be the most to challenge within your answer. Do you then question the finance director's reasoning? Accuse the finance director of bias and demand him? Clearly not. However, appropriate to request further details to support his explanation with this would be an acceptable example of professional accountants should be able to at all levels within the business. Remember, we don't assume that everything is wrong. Everyone is lying to us. But also, don't take everything at face. In your exam, when you're required to take ask yourself three questions. to support the claims being made. If not, what further evidence is needed to... When you challenge, have you done so in a professional and... Analysis is one of the key professional skills in your exam. Analysis means logic and processing information to respond to a question or to meet a stated objective. Analysis, you need to be able to compare information. Why a certain piece of information is important the implications of the information. For example, in the exam, you may be asked that reviews the performance of a company over the past. Let's say you are provided with it's of board meetings for the past three years. Survey results and a recently published How would you use the review company performance whilst demonstrating sound? Let's follow a logical approach. Firstly, the management accounts are provided for. Use the numbers to calculate ratios and other financial. What do the results show? help you discuss the financial performance data possible explanations what do the results of the customer survey suggest or are they dissatisfied is there a risk to customers in the future what about the external performance of the business a recently published industry report to compare against industry-wide data. What does it show? Is the company performing well in comparison? It's vital available to you to ensure you are able to give a of company performance in your report to the Ensure you allocate sufficient time to review exhibit. In the exam, analysis, ask yourself three questions. 
use numerical information to perform calculations to support your analysis. How does the competing business or industry average? What does the information mean? One company, one okay, put the five professional skills that are extreme to prepare yourself and to be able to why I say so because this professional vibe in your answer gets reflected in and that is how you show to the examiner that yes to take on the role of a strategic business leader in an understand these skills and you're able to resonate skill in the answer that you are providing no doubt guys regarding the five professional skills actually means how you're going to apply obviously that is when we practically do the questions together but and what these different expectations of these five okay with everyone tell me do you all understand what it means so when you are being asked about communication form you have to go ahead and then per what do you reckon in terms of presenting like a logical argument in in the favor or against and then whatever situations whatever issues there are so that is what is called the communication skill do you all understand the meaning of the term you're going to apply obviously we'll come with question the, the terminology itself is that okay with everyone wonderful thank you for the confirmation guys having knowledge just not about to you but in overall general knowledge the business that particular in example if i'm talking about a, a, a mobile mobile network company i obviously need to the examiner that not just any tom you know go, uh, selling it and get in own organization you have to have a license that allows you to enter into this particular industry what shows your commercial acumen quickly read through it and ask if you have any doubts here give me a confirmation that you understand the term commercial tell me guys Done. Commercial acumen okay with everyone? Guys, you all have to respond. Quickly go through the term analysis. Analyzing means what? You are, uh, how do you invest, you know, investigate more? You dig to be the matter you uh, you know make some looking at the set of information which is available when you rec make recommendations on the basis this is that you have done through so when the examiner is asking that is exactly what the examiner is expecting to okay with everyone read through it quickly
done reading skepticism very important skill you have to have a questioning mind you're not just on the face of it but you have to be able to question that uh, truthful or are you just accepting things as are being told dig deeper into facts in claimed as facts but whether they are facts correct but at the same time whenever you are question you are you, know, you are uh, looking at something or you have to be very cautious or digging deeper or probing a situation say to the finance director or the ceo of the company that uh can you just you know give me more facts about to be there obviously not right you have to, you have to dig deeper into in 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 a very courteous manner you have to know out information in a manner which is uh, challenge the integrity of the seeking more information so do it cannot be challenging the ceo and saying that i think you are get more information about what you are stating as it's you have to ask your information skepticism in a very courteous in a very at all times right guys understood everybody understands the term skepticism wonderful and evaluation so definitely you have to evaluate it evaluate means you have to assess information you have to probably make some sort of estimates for the future as well you should be able to you know uh, dig in deeper into opinions and facts and into you know appraise basically information at the core you know probably do like a cost benefit analysis and then evaluate is this something which is worthwhile or not is it something that you know uh, makes sense to you or not so that is what the professional skill of evaluation actually means okay with everyone okay so yes it's a 3 hour exam you know what you are heading into read it really like a story read it as if you know you are uh, reading um, or a uh, reading of the uh, a script of a story of you know a movie really that is happening and then you are the man in charge you are the one who's you know making recommendations writing answers obviously at all times you have to show that you are giving giving your answer like a professional what is the difference between analysis and evaluation so basically what you are doing in analysis is that you are digging in the information in the form of your skills in the in the form of your analysis is obviously um doing more investigation basically looking at you know trying to find out more and more information that is analyzing and when you are evaluating evaluation basically means evaluating what evaluating decisions evaluating judgments which have been passed evaluating trends which you know which you reckon are going to be followed or are going to come into the picture that is what is the term evaluation don't worry meenal we're going to have a lot of questions which are going to show you how how you're going to present your answer if it is analysis and how you're going to present your answer if it is a evaluation right right meenal wonderful but before that i want you to understand what common problems or issues do students face in the spl quickly read through it so if you from today up to the day of the exam have any of these issues you will not be able to pass so you have to make sure in the next two and a half months you are grooming yourself in a way that none of these issues are going to be there in the next two and a half months uh 
मैम जस्ट अबाउट हाउ एनालिसिस एंड रिसर्च आर डिफरेंट और आर दे सेम आर द सेम सो एनालिसिस ऑब्वियसली यू नीड टू इन्वेस्टिगेट एंड व्हेन यू आर रिसर्चिंग अगेन यू आर इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग डिगिंग डीपर सो दे आर ऑल काइंड ऑफ रेफरिंग टू द सेम थिंग बट एनालिसिस इज समथिंग वेयर इन यू आर जस्ट नॉट रिसर्चिंग बट कमिंग अप टू विद अ कंक्लूजन एज़ वेल सो यू आर काइंड ऑफ गोइंग इन अ लिटिल डीपर in terms of analyzing a situation and the repercussions of that analysis as well right hash and don't worry these are just terms which i am showing to you as of now you don't have to be able to be able to present answer in such a way that will only come with time that will only come with question practice okay so computer based exam another hurdle that you have to clear uh, for those especially who are giving the acc exam the first time you don't just have to skill yourself or groom yourself with respect to uh, sbl you also have to groom yourself with respect to the computer based exam that you are heading into how that will you do i will be taking you through the entire platform and how question practice on the cbe practice platform needs to be done i will be showing you that platform today itself but you have to make sure that you are utilizing the 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 functionality of the cbe practice platform because this is one platform that literally replicates the real life exam platform so it it gives you a heads up into what you are heading into practice 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 is obviously the key for your any acca paper for that matter but specifically for sbl Okay, now what I what I want you to do is I want everybody to take a quick twenty minutes break, and then I will show you the resources that we are going to dive into towards our SBL preparation and start with your ACCA study hub, ACCA CBE practice platform. I'm going to show you all of this very quickly after this twenty minutes break. Okay, so I hope everybody is back from the break. What I'm going to show you now is the study resource of ACCA from which we are going to study. So I have my own access, which is my education hub. Uh, as a trainer, I have my own access. But the same module you can go to and access. Why are your my ACC account as well? Okay, so I'm just gonna open up for SBL. Okay. So this is a comprehensive study support resource which is made made available free of any cost to all ACC students like yourself. and what we're going to do is make use of this to be able to cover everything that is required for us to cover conceptually all our topics as well so let's start with chapter number 1 i've already introduced all of this to you but what i'm going to do is give you a quick heads up from the chapter as well so quickly read through this first so this is like a quick quick heads up of the professional skill we've all we've done all of these and how you're going to construct your answer you have to obviously follow the specific presentation format which is being asked in the task requirement so you have to if the question is asking you to prepare a memo obviously you have to prepare a memo if the question is asking you to prepare a powerpoint presentation slide that is exactly what you have to follow right so please follow the correct formats our formats as being asked in the question as well as the writing skills which are required from you to be able to pass your a uh, paper and that writing skill basically is very very specific in terms of how you are presenting your answer inculcating the points of the professional skills that we have just discussed 
so this was about the first chapter which we've already discussed per se so i will not go into much detail of this part here again this is a quick you can say resonation of what we've already discussed anybody has any doubt in this please ask Okay, so Harsh says, no doubts. What about others? Guys, any question? We've done this with examples. We've done this in much detail. So this first chapter, we've like this first introduction, we've literally just done. But what I am going to show to you is very quickly, look at the facts in terms of how we are going to do this as well. So there you are, activity one on your screens, please, very quickly. One guys, quickly do it. Both take the concepts of TVM. So is you are required to prepare a presentation slide along with accompanying notes which inform the board of the relevant trends of IRR and NPV and recommend which project NNS should accept. So straight away the concept which was at the skills level. So you should be able to do this question. I'm trying to teach you here is how to prepare a presentation with the company notes. But technically the concept, right? So quickly to understand how do we make use of PPT slides. So yes, you can, on the left-hand side, under the, you will get an option to open up a PowerPoint presentation under the slides. On the slides, you obviously have to prepare very short point answer, followed by notes to your answer. So this supporting note is how PPT for, in the PPT notes, which are going to that explains the bullet points that you have highlighted, right? Be familiar with this concept. At the four professional skills marks, what you were required to demonstrate excellent communication skills, clearly cover all relative strengths as well as tone for the board. So what do you mean by tone? Can you just write to the board of directors in um, slang language that you like? 
of the scene, you have to follow the correct tone of the director as well, along with giving clearly what has been asked for. Provide recommendations and provide answers in the as well. So that is something which is extreme for you to gain your four four towards your communication. So this is exactly how you answer your question. Thus, how do you depict your communication skill? Full marks on your uh, professional skill for communication is expected. Is everybody okay with it? Let me know if you have any queries here. Wonderful. What about others? These are just very small examples to build upon your knowledge. Okay. What I'm going to do now is the next activity for social awareness, demonstrating awareness skill for you. You are supposed to be drafting a briefing paper here for introducing formal corporate governance procedures. Governance procedures as such per se as of now because of but yes you should be able to demonstrate that professional skill that is acumen. Please tell how to write precisely when we will be doing our practice how much is sufficient answer? You just, you know, probably are not looking. So 1.8 minutes per mark on your answer. So if it's a 10 mark, beyond 18 marks on that particular topic. And I think principle seriously says that one mark one valid point. So if you've made one valid point, one mark, please stop. Don't just go on and on and on. Small, concise, crisp. Explaining the point is what is exactly needed in your. So here I don't expect you to give me a proper answer because we really have not done the concept. But I'm just showing you if the exam you to make a briefing paper. paper. This is exactly how format for briefing paper is right. Now, don't go into the concept of writing really. So, how do you understand? You display excellent understanding problem at hand. How you can actually operate governance that is going to help you resolve and what basically the benefits are out of inculcating the corporate governance procedures. So confident answers is what is actually required. The technicality as of now because you've obviously and the concept of you don't know what the agency problem is, what the concept of corporate. So here is that every skill is going to be different man, right? One. Guys, is that okay with everyone? Let me just put up. We've already done this. Showing you the activities which you are required. So here you are required to draft working note. 
have the relative power and interest of the key state is for engaging them will change following the ipo the professional skills marks being tested here is skill so how your answer is going to be different with power and interest and how to engage with these after the ipo is the question categorically telling you how to structure your answer and if you still don't follow what the examiner is categorizing how do you expect to gain marks obviously that so what you simply have to do is show your analysis skill considering the relative power and interest and then stakeholders which are at hand so the shareholders the employees for the ipo versus after the ipo that interest is going to change you are able to show your skill so was what literally laid out in the question itself that your answer the the three groups of shareholders and employees and lenders how is their change before the ipo versus after the ipo but like you know immediately strike uh, that i should present my answer like this isn't it and then when once you're done with the pay, this little table explain it with the paragraphs really is that too much to ask for what should be having done here is use a suitable model reflect with the help of appropriate strategies and engage in the correct format before and after right again simple ask for isn't it is this okay with everyone do you all how the is depending upon every upon every professional skill which is being tested okay with everyone what about others guys every okay is ask you to have a look at this skill of skepticism so here you have to draft a letter to the chair which soon as you read the word challenges challenge means what you you are showing your skepticism. so you have to challenge the ceo professional behavior relating to the design reporting to the staff satisfaction survey skepticism skill so i want you to get a question and then how the answer should really look like read through the question first so what we have to write she is asking us to prepare a letter so to prepare a letter format as an introduction to the letter and then how the issues be i have not even read the question because i can you know i know how do you prepare, basically challenge something you are very clearly points and look at the length of the answer so somebody went to stop really how much should you really one logical point that's all that you really need to do there you 
That's all that is needed. Air to on the marks is very clearly you've laid format the correct way in which you highlighting the key issues which are there. Easy for the examiner to give you. Had you been in the place of the examiner, would it not be to mark such a well laid out? So at all times, you've challenged in a courteous manner. So you challenge because you've been asked to show your skepticism skill. But at, the, at all times, you cannot questioning anybody's integrity here. You explain the reasons for the challenging. Present your answer in the correct form required as well. Nice and easy for everyone. Any doubts here, guys? Just the formats. How are we showing our professional skills? Obviously, I understand that you don't know the concepts as of now. Understand and resonate with all of these professional skills which are going with everyone. Wonderful. So let's assess numbers. Assess what seems to be happening. Situation. So there we are. How do you assess these numbers? You are required to draft for the directors which assess. And so obviously, assess means what? Evaluation skill in assessing the performance. So do and show the happening in the organization right i'm going to give you time to do here what i'm going to only show you really so what you're going to do is out the correct format performance shell as well as some non financial Company's performance, isn't it? What is the financial performance of the organization? Ratios, right? Do you know how to do a non-financial analysis of the organization? To do some basic ratios, talk about some numbers, and see how clearly this is laid out. On here, I am comparing gross profit margins. On here, I am comparing net profit margins, and where these numbers of the overall financial performance. I am going to quick index a quick appendix showing these numbers. First, discussing these numbers, evaluating these. See, so you can't just stop at. Uh, you know, just an performance you must put in on financial performance perspective as well. I prepare a paragraph and discuss what seems to be things of the organization. So, what I've cleared, I have made some financial ratios as well as. Some qualitative statements, financial performance of the organization, Matt, which was asked for, and bingo, asked for professional skills, which was nice and easy. Financial interpretation obviously is looking at financial information you're judging the company's performance right is that okay with everyone the way you are addressing your answers 
changes depending upon which tested right does everybody agree upon this yes yes do not worry how do you evaluate the performance based upon the i ask you to dig in a little deeper right meena we are going to do lots and lots of questions like this i am just only to make you understand what these professional skills are and how you right now this is something we to because the correct you good presentation so if the examiner is on paper this is exactly what, right this is the format that you if the examiner is asking you to prepare a briefing paper f intention of to to whom your writing will be given to object what you are writing about will be given to you in the exam ever appropriate write short short paragraph we move on to the next point bullet points were appropriate you gain marks as you go through your everybody okay with what briefing paper basically is think i just want you to read through this example very so just very simple you have to write your answers in a professional manner in the frame of mind that you're not writing your answers as as an employee or as a consultant go to the ceo of the company or the cfo of the company of professionalism in your answer if you actually put, do not write answers like a student write as if you're on the job support or the business case that you are writing or any other format for that matter to you know to whomsoever it is need to to need to be addressed to phone your formats everything need to be prepare a report or a business case so you the format of to from date subject put down some subheadings with the help of short paragraphs and as a business case that you are writing you cannot close without out making recommendations right so this is exactly how you this case read i actually don't want you to read through the concepts per se you don't know but the format is what i want you to do. how do you prepare a letter you're going to write the name and the position the date you have to address with the help of a to write some introductory letter and you know sentences in terms of why you are writing this take shots you know concise small explaining the concept making a valid solid point mark out of it and then close with your sincerely and what your position really is to be able to close it i know how to write letters and all just like this nice crisp right so you could do instead of writing with your formal correspondence you can actually write with yours faith know the name with which you know to whom you are addressing 
presentation slides is there anybody in the class who's never prepared anybody in the class it's like so you obviously write small bullets in your ppts small subheadings but each of these title you have to notes right where in your tenses for each of these so developing strategy it this is the header this is the first point notes i am explaining each of these bullet put down here in the ppt format in the bullet guys is this okay with everyone any doubts any please use the chat box to ask so just for what i am introducing we have first chapter as yet we are just showing you of what your sbl paper is going to expect format as well as the other thing which was very important was so how do you put down your writing skills how do you please by all business english no slang no short form please read good business journals daily newspapers online versions of miss times all are available a good definitely impresses the marker okay, in you earning a sort if you have been able to write down this vocabulary and apart from this the answers you will read the more question practice you will do slowly and gradually build your writing the practice platform is certainly the like the number one tool which use in order to do in order to groom yourself with respect to be ready really right okay now what i want you to do is just read through how you really plan your answers how or write your answers so this is just a quick how to write ma'am points are notes are for describing those those points below yes absolutely Final one more thing. I request you to put down your queries to everyone rather than a direct message to me. I want everybody to read everybody's queries because your query will obviously be somebody else's query as well. And this way, we are just making the class more interactive, and everybody is able to put in their you know query as well, and possibly add in more value to you know your queries as well. Thank you so much, Minal. Okay. so i want everybody to very quickly read through the planning paragraph as to how you are going to plan your answers to begin with quickly read through it guys let me know when you are done reading with the planning section because i'm going to then give you some good opening and some good closing lines it is something that you can definitely inculcate in your answers please by all means you know uh, you can learn these lines as well to be used in your answers done with some good opening and some good closing lines guys does this help and coming coming in from a resource which is directly from acc definitely this is something that you must inculcate in your answers right so by all means go through this i am just highlighting the key 
areas but yes absolutely you must go through this so we are done with this first part of our syllabus wherein we just needed to discuss what these professional skills are all about okay i'm going to do open up the quiz for this chapter now the, the beauty of the study hub is every time we will go through a chapter it at the end of the chapter it is going to open up a very small quiz for us in order for us to quickly um, evaluate our understanding of the topic that we've just done so very quickly go through the summary so that i open up the quiz for you all okay i'm going to start the quiz and i want everybody to answer i will just only choose whatever maximum number of you know you guys uh, give as an option and i'm going to go ahead with it Be very careful of the question, guys. Which of the following is not an appropriate display of skepticism? So not wonderful. Majority says D. So I'm gonna open up. Select D. Why is it not selecting? Okay. Next question, everyone. Very very quickly. So, how does a business leader exercise commercial acumen? Very quickly, give answers for the second question, guys. Okay, C seems to be the common answer. Next question, everyone. want everybody to answer please okay so common answer says b here last question very very quickly guys it's actually a very good question because we need to know the success mantra for the sbl exam so let's get it right in the first class itself what is it that is going to require to be able to pass this paper really I want everybody to answer please because i hope everybody has been able to understand this akash not once did i say to memorize and reproduce that was one thing that i said will never work <laughs> right akash yes absolutely right okay so that was a good beginning guys a 100% correct quiz which means that you've all understood what i wanted to tell you here from the first chapter and we are bang on in terms of where we should be post this first quick introductory session any doubts any doubts in these questions in the exam technique in the overall exam format or you know are you like clear with basically what we are heading into you've got the success mantra already so i'm pretty sure that you all got the hang of it right guys because what i'm going to do now is we're going to take a quick lunch break and come back and i'm going to show you what an actual sbl exam looks like i'm going to introduce you to the cbe practice platform 
the the ultimate practice platform on which you will be doing lots and lots of mock exams before your exam so the reason why i want to show you the actual exam format today itself is because you should know what we are heading into you should know what the exam is going to look like what your approach is going to be for the next two and a half months right so very important um, second half of the session coming up post the lunch break so let's quickly meet post lunch till 2:15 and then we shall all connect again okay so i hope everybody is back from lunch we are done with the first chapter i'm now going to show you the very important cbe practice platform and i'm going to take you through an actual bl exam as well obviously not content wise because we've literally not studied anything as of now but just to give you an essence of what the exam looks like because if you know what you are heading into your mind is conditioned in a way wherein you will start preparing towards that standard of the exam really that's why i always show it in the first class itself so that yes students know what to expect so these are all the resources the cbe practice platform actually gives you and shows you a lot of mock exams which you can attempt one by one in order to finish and look at what your practice is like i'm going to show you the actual september december exam september 23 exam is what i'm going to show you so let's have a look at the cbe uh yeah this one which is very much the latest exam which is available on the platform so september 23 actual sbl exam is what i'm showing you guys so please expect this by you know by all means so this is how the exam introduction is going to look like obviously on this platform this is a practice platform which replicates your actual exam and uh, actual exam practice is what you can do on this platform so it is 3 hours 15 minutes period time period that you have 15 minutes only reading time 3 hours of actually writing is allowed in your exam so this is very important i want everybody to go through read through this once please this can be the first time you are reading the introduction of the sbl exam so please read it very very carefully so that next time you need not read through this entire introduction and can start appearing for the exam directly but spare out some time right now to read through introduction and the basic uh for slides that are going to follow because that is going to be common in all the exams going forward so just give some time right now obviously because this is a practice platform there are a lot of similarities with the real exam but also there are some practically you know uh, possible differences which are there with which you obviously need to understand that there with the in the actual exam there are going to be some differences and these are the differences which are there so please read through all of this very very carefully let me know when you are finished reading quickly go through this introduction again all of these set of four instructions exactly the same set of four instructions is going to be given to you on the day of your actual exam write like similarly like this on your computer 
but that cannot be the first time that you're reading through these instructions. Today is the first time that you should be reading through these instructions. Please guys, spare out some time and read through these instructions, please, before I show you what the exam actually looked like. Familiarize yourself with what you are heading into, with what the platform looks like and what are the tools and techniques which are available to you in order to get this sorted. Has everybody gone through this general set of first page of instructions? Anything you want to ask? Because all of these functionality I will be showing you in the platform as well. How to highlight, how to strike through. All of this we will go through on the practice platform. But I just want you to like absorb it once. Quickly read through the general set of instructions which are available from ACCA. And then we will practically also look at how to use these functions and functionalities. So very quickly, guys, read through the navigation toolbar, how you can make use of the flag, help desk, and the calculator option is also available. I will be showing it to you all of this practically as well. Okay, I have seen the entire screen. Don't worry, let me go. Very important point here. Today, we are sitting in the first class. ACCA gives you the option to book a center-based exam or a remote-based exam, which is that you can appear for the exam from your home as well, which is called a remote exam. Now, today in the first class itself, I am telling you all to please go ahead and book your center-based exam only. I do not want any one of you to book your remote exam, even if that requires you to travel down to another city to appear for your exam. Please do that effort. SBL is a tricky exam. It's, it's an expensive exam. I don't want you to, you know, waste your time, energy and money stressing on the fact that what if electricity goes? What if I face a technical issue? Please just don't, you know, it's, it's clearly avoidable. We are now out of the COVID zone. So you can just go back to normal and book for your exam at the center. Another added advantage that you have at the center is that you will be allowed a physical rough paper to do your quick workings. However, in the remote based exam, you can only and only use this digital scratch pad or working pad facility, which is available and no rough paper will be allowed to be used in the remote exam. So by all means, please book your SBL exam at the center. Do not waste, wait for the last minute time, you know, booking your exam because then centers get filled. You are not left with an option to just go ahead and book your remote exam, which then becomes a very tricky scenario because even though ACCA, you know, allows you a week to facility or maybe, you know, booking in the next quarter. But I don't want you to, you know, stress about these, these things in the exam. Just concentrate on just writing your best possible exam. And that can only happen when you are not worried about other integrities and technicalities and, you know, internet issues during your exam. So please, by all means, I personally recommend to all my students to go ahead and book the exam at the center. Okay, so till then, quickly read through. The third page of the general set of instructions. And now on to the last set wherein we should review our exam. And uh, item review would not be applicable for your SBL exam because it's obviously just like it, it doesn't have different subparts to the tasks. It's like one scenario only. And then you can end the exam. Once you've ended the exam, you obviously cannot go back into it, which is pretty common sense. Okay. So now there is a little bit of difference between the functionality of this platform and your live exam. So I want you to quickly go through this little bit of nitty gritties of differences which are going to be there in terms of the functionality on the CBE platform. So very quickly go through this guys. Because what we will do after this is have a look at the actual exam and you know what is it that we are literally heading into. Okay with everyone. So here you've got like different colors to 
to highlight or shade but in the actual exam the selected text gets grayed out only and then you have some tools in the pdf exhibit which is there you can and you must use the copy paste functionality how are you going to use that especially by copying pasting the particular requirement of the task which you are in you know you are about to address that absolutely has to be done i will show it to you in the actual exam itself till then is everybody okay with what we've done so far everybody okay with what we've the general set of instructions any doubts anybody has here any doubts guys okay so 100 marks exam and once you've actually ended your live exam you obviously cannot go back to it so let's quickly have a look at the september 23 actual exam first things first you all know that there would be a pre seen material which would have been already given to you for this particular exam so the pre seen material which you have already used to familiarize with cogex and the industry in which it operates is also available on the left hand side of the screen so you can go ahead and again refer to the pre seen but this cannot be the first time when you are actually going and opening up the pre seen let me show you what the sbl pre seen also looks like remember guys this is the actual september 23 exam which i'm showing you so this is pretty much exam standard so you have a basic introduction some information about the airline industry which was examined and then information about the organization so pretty much what you expected out of the pre seen is what is available in the pre seen so some um, in, uh, some information about the industry some information about the organization was then you've been given some website extracts and the headline results and cost breakdowns as well so this is the kind of information that you can expect from your pre seen a quick introduction a quick information about the overall industry which gets examined which is getting examined what are the key integrities of that particular industry stocking it's it's a lot of generic information given about the industry as well as the organization so it there is a lot to understand from it but not so much as much as because you don't literally have the exhibits on you as of now exhibits is going to be defining the kind of tasks which are going to be asked as well i am just just showing it to you right now because i want you to know what we are actually heading into okay if i actually just increase the size a little bit i hope you all are able to see so this pre seen this kind of pre seen will be available to you two weeks before your exam on your my acc account so whatever industry whatever company is going to be tested in two weeks time and on the day of the actual exam you will be given a lot of information in the form of pre seen like this so 12 pages long information if i actually printed down is made available to you two weeks before the exam guys right then comes in industry in the company information which is cogets so you have information about some background information is given you have some information with respect to where we are operating in terms of growth as an organization who are the owners the key resources which are available to you you talk about the technological aspect the operational aspects so a lot of information is made available to you two weeks before the exam itself you talk about the people who are there in the organization you talk about the board structures in terms of how is it 
like literally placed as an organization you talk about key risks you talk about risk management that the organization is following so yes a lot is given to you two weeks before the exam courses uh, you know we we've been given some website extracts in terms of the mission and the vision of the organization what it stands for and then a quick headline result as well as a cost breakdown is also given to you year on year in terms of return on capital employed in terms of punctuality in terms of customer satisfaction all of this is made available to you now this is something something like this will be available to you two weeks before the exam the actual exam is going to look like this so it's going to start with an overview introduce the exhibits which are going to follow so you see that these are the four exhibits which talk about the organization there is a business magazine article which has been given to you so something that was written about the company in a business magazine then you have an outline investment proposal that you are probably contemplating to get into so it's given you some data in terms of current expenditure as well as the proposed artificial intelligence training cost that is going to be there it talks about potential features potential problems that can arise and then what is the current successful application closed with a conclusion then it talks about principal risk review of the organization so where are we standing in terms of the key risks that we face as an organization all of this information is given to you on the day of the exam talking more giving more information about the company and then obviously by all means expect some numbers so you can you know increase the size of these exhibits given to you and just go through this one by one so this is some financial some non financial information which has been made available to you via these exhibits now after this exhibits comes in the tasks which are going to be examined so you've been given one task here which is a 32 mark task and the task as expected has various sub parts to it as well so here you are required to prepare a briefing note for the cpo which does what which outlines the briefing note for the cpo which outlines the problems in culture caused by various leadership styles so problems that have arise arised as well as obviously you have to look at the impact at that the current ceo's leadership style has on the company as well so please very very carefully break down the question you should know what is it that is being asked as expected your technical skills marks are for 12 marks and you can gain a separate four marks for displaying the professional skill of commercial acumen in this particular question similar to this there are going to be other questions that follow to make the entire 80 plus 20 that is 100 marks exam now spart b asks you to prepare two presentation slides with accompanying notes so please by all means prepare a presentation slide with two with accompanying notes for the cpo's meeting with the staff representative committee which in which you are doing what you are doing these two important aspects which are there for your question okay so now what do you have you have a task task number 1 which has got two sub parts in each of these sub parts there are various other you know small sub parts as well clearly giving you a bifurcation between the technical marks and 
the professional skills which it is testing you all able to understand how tasks are going to be asked in your exam are you all able to understand this how your technical and professional skills marks are going to be broken down every task is going to test a different professional skill as well now in order for you to answer this question what you have to do is start with first i'm just going to do a control c and i can go to the response options i have a word processor so i can open up a word processor which is very similar to what a word document looks like control v paste the question write task 1 a and then write answer task 1 a and then what does it ask you to do it asks you to prepare a briefing notes prepare format and answer right this is exactly what you are required to do in order to answer this particular task i have i want to highlight the fact that this is a briefing paper i am underlining it i can use these tools and techniques to write on the word document supposingly the question requires some calculations i can easily open up the response option of spreadsheet in which an excel like document will open up you can increase the size of these answer response options and appear for your calculations whatever you want to do in terms of the calculations supposingly the second question asks you to prepare presentation slide so how do you prepare presentation slides you open up the slides option prepare slide 1 so put down topic bullet points and go down in the briefing speaker notes explain bullet points one by one in short paragraphs just like we had just seen move to the next slide do the same thing again and again open up a speaker is this okay with everyone do you all understand what you are getting into do you all now are like in a better position to understand um, you know your uh, the questions and the kind of exam we are heading into everybody okay with this please ask if anybody has any doubt anything anybody would like to ask so far it feels i have not probably gone through the entire question so it's not letting me navigate okay let me just scroll it i have task 2 which is a 40 mark question which has opened up on the right this case study relates to three tasks which are there so you have got three tasks this is your task 2 open up the question it's got one sub part it's got two sub parts which again has more sub parts and clearly your bifurcation of technical and professional skills is being told clearly so here the professional skill of skeptic skepticism is getting examined next question the professional skill of evaluation is getting examined so you see how beautifully every sub part is going to you know categorically tell you which professional skill the examiner is looking you to display is that okay with everyone guys any doubts the reason why i have taken you directly to the 
previous year paper is because I want you to have a look like, look at what is it that we are all going to be doing going forward, right? Okay, still feels I have not read through the paper, which I obviously have not. Okay, let me show you some of the functionality as well. If I want to highlight, supposingly I want to highlight this piece of information, I just bullet it, go to the highlight option, select the color which I want to and that's it. If there is some information which I feel is like irrelevant, I really don't need to refer to it again, I can strike through this information. If I need to make some calculations, I can open up the calculator. Again, both in scientific mode as well as in standard mode, I can open up the calculator and do my calculations. ACC exams allow you to carry a physical calculator as well. So by all means, please carry physical calculators as well. And this is the scratch pad which I was referring to, wherein you can just scribble your workings, scribble your answer plans. This scratch pad will not be seen by the examiner. It's like a rough paper. It's like a digital rough paper given to you on the day of the exam. Right? Guys, is this okay with everyone? Any doubts? Again, I'm asking if anybody has any doubts, please, by all means, feel free to ask your doubts. I have not read, brother, because I have not read. Literally, I have not read. Yes, I agree. I have not read. Okay. It's not allowing me. Let me just go up and down to show to the computer that I've probably done what was required. Okay, go down, go up. Okay, so it just shows you little warnings in terms of, you know, trying to make sure that you viewed the entire screen, you viewed the all the parts of the question that there are. Then you have task number three. Let me show you the navigation option. Now you've got three tasks here and clearly the navigator is telling that I probably have not attempted question number two and question number three. If this question I want to flag for review, which means I want to come back to this question later, I open up navigator. See, it's showing me a flagged question, which I can directly open up from this tool itself. So I can just use this functionality in order to directly navigate through my questions. If I want to come back to a particular question, it's not so much relevant for SBL, but for the, uh, other ACCA papers, definitely this is a very good and a useful tool. Okay, I have read through the task. Let me open up the task. It's not letting me go through. So this task again has analysis skill being examined and asks you to prepare a briefing note and here you're being asked to prepare a report. By all means, read the requirements of the questions very, very carefully before you actually, you know, um, review and start ending your question paper. I have not read through because I don't want to read through. We are not attempting the mock as of now. We are just showing the students what it looks like. Thank you very much. So it shows me an item-wise review screen. And once I have reviewed everything, I can just press on this and end the exam. So if I end the exam, I obviously will not be able to come back to the same exam. Are you sure you want to end? Yes, I am sure I want to end, right? So I have literally shown you what the exam looks like. One more thing I want to show you. If you've done a mock, you can self-assign marks to your mock as well. So I am just going here. And I am just showing you the option how you can self-mark your answers as well. We obviously did not write anything in the answers, 
so uh, my roll up score is obviously going to be a big fat zero here but this is how you can then go through the answers and compare it with your own this you know answers which you've written in order to understand what good bad and ugly things you've done in the in the exam right is this okay with everyone we've done a good heads up of our session today okay with everyone guys any doubts anything you want to ask also i would like to take a quick feedback in terms of anything you know that you want me to change in my delivery style in the way i am you know showing you the concepts any feedback guys all types of feedbacks are welcome good bad and ugly because the point of coming to the live class is that i am able to understand better what is it that really you know the class wants me to do everybody okay with it any doubts you have any uh, concerns you have please by all means raise it right now i will surely try my best i have been teaching sbl paper ever since the paper has been launched itself so um, a you can trust me b you can you know just follow my guidance to be uh, to know that okay you will be in a safe place if you are starting with the correct tips and techniques from day one itself wonderful thank you so much akash what about others guys anybody has any doubts please please ask uh which notes do you want me to send in the group chat this this ppt which i have prepared so we everything will get uploaded on the lms itself and this was just a one off ppt apart from this i will be uploading all my notes on the lms in one go because we will not be referring to those notes that is for your like self practice at home i will be deep in detail going through each and every chapter via your acca study hub right till when will this lecture be available as recorded uh, you have to at least give the it team 3 working days to be able to upload the lecture right guys anything else wonderful thank you so much for joining in today then i really hope you all have had a good like first feel about the paper that we are getting into and i wish you all the very best and definitely definitely please join in in the live batch itself so that your understanding of the concepts will be much much more better and i am and my response time will be more proactive as well wonderful thank you so much meenal that's yes it's a very very interesting subject and that's exactly what i said that uh, it's one of my personal favorites sbl is very very close to my heart because i really find it something which is like relevant in today's time and age wonderful thank you so much guys see you